it was so close to something that you would have experienced, you know, just meat and fries. But then they throw the mac salad in there and that's when it goes from steak frites to garbage. <laughs> I'm at a place where I'm eating a garbage plate and I'm also eating Korean food. I'm, and I'm in Rochester. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you're, you're in the twilight zone. It's, it's after bar food, but it's also pre-bar food. It's also kind of lunch food. It's, it's comfort food, it's any time, right? My name's Kevin McCann. Welcome to Rochester. Welcome to Eating with Robert. Hey, it's Robert. I'm in Rochester, New York on the side of a highway because I don't know where I am. I don't know anything about Rochester. The people here are called Rochesterians. Uh, that's about it. You know, when I think about Western New York, I think about three things. I think about Wegmans, Price Chopper, and state schools. But when I think about Rochester, I think about the garbage plate. Garbage plate is a Rochester staple. The basic is you take Mac salad, and french fries or home fries, and you put on top of it a protein, whether that is uh, burgers or, or hot dogs, and then the key ingredient is you top it with this meat hot sauce, right? The meat hot sauce has a little bit of savory, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of heat. You top that with some onion and some mustard, but you can see like it's filling, it's supposed to like, Get all up in here and make you feel good after a, a, a long night of hanging out. Rochester people are different. You know, you go to France, it's like escargot, beef bourguignon. You come to Rochester, garbage plate. So, uh, gonna go to McCann's Local Meats, have a garbage plate. Hopefully, it doesn't destroy my body, but at this point, nothing can. Then, I'm gonna head over and have a sweet potato pie at a place called the Sweet Potato Pie Place, in the past called the Sweet Potato Pie Factory and prior to that, known as Gladys's. We're in Rochester, let's go eat some garbage plates. Enjoy the view. McCann's Local Meats, first and foremost, is a locally sourced butcher shop. Uh, we source all of our animals from within 60 miles of Rochester. We cut and grind everything fresh every single day. We make sausages, deli meats, charcuterie, prepared foods, everything that you can possibly think of, we make everything in house. All right, so we're uh, in front of McCann's Local Meats. Just had a great conversation with Kevin McCann. And uh, he's furnished me with a number of uh, amazing delights that I did not anticipate having. We have this whole charcuterie plate. This is all cured here, smoked here, uh, butchered here. I mean, just looks amazing. Garbage plate up here. Oh my God. I mean, seeing this thing be made. And then finally, <laughs> we got the galbi. And he was telling me that when they started ser serving Korean food, they had a bibimbap and nobody knew how to eat a bibimbap or whether or not they should order it. Uh, and then he just started selling it as a Korean garbage plate. <laughs> All right, fuck it, we're diving in. Oh my goodness. I feel like this is just an experience for a fork, not just for a man. The fork is like, I'm in a, I'm in a cheeseburger and I'm in a french fry and I'm in mac salad. I'm like, yeah, buddy. Welcome to fucking Western New York. My man's walking around. What do you say? I say I'm very confused. Yes. <laughs> I yes. just had my first bite. I'm a little lost. So the the method of the madness. Okay, there's a method. Is don't think of it as individual components. Mm -hmm. Fuck that shit up. And this is a nice bite right here. That that's that's proper. Throw one more fry on here. These fries are insane. <laughs> it's like you got crispiness from the burger, crispiness from the fries, mustard, which is just like speed bagging yep. your tongue. Yep. <laughs> Creamy mac salad. Something's going on in there. Some kind of acid. Or maybe like a rice wine vinegar type situation. It's no vinegar whatsoever, my friend. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the galbi, I mean, what just off the bat, what looks great about it is that you can tell it's cooked nicely. Cooked great on the outside and a little bit rare on the inside. Yep. 
This is really, really good. You can taste that it's really good beef. You Again, what you've done with the grill, the clarified butter, getting everything real crispy, and you could taste that it's buttery. This is the brilliance of my wife and everything that she brings to the table. Uh, you know, I tell everybody, my name is on the building, mm -hmm. but I'm not the smart one and I'm not <laughs> the boss. That's my wife, right? My job really is to make big things small and my wife's job is is everything intelligent that makes this business continue to run. <laughs> one of those things being this recipe here, so. What are these? I gotta dive into this. Yeah, uh, so charcuterie platter, you've got to start on the, on the end, uh, this is the Lebanon bologna. So that's a, a Pennsylvania Amish or Pennsylvania Dutch, Dutch thing. Brizola, which is eye round, that has been cured with a little black pepper, red wine, and juniper. Tastes like Italy. Yeah. Mortadella? Mortadella that we make in house, yeah. Um, it's just fat and pistachio. Yeah, fat, pistachio, peppercorn, and spices. You had a good day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad, brother. I'm glad. And what's our last little guy here? This is the uh, finocchiona, because I, I saw the, the, fennel. the fennel in it yeah. as I was getting into it. I love this one. This is like a, a sweet Italian sausage yeah. that has been fermented and dried, right? Yeah, this is like sausage and peppers that you can slice. Period. Right, <laughs> right across the board, boom. This is amazing. I feel like I'm in my sister's backyard. <laughs> this is so good. God damn it. This is a very powerful board. You know, we, we're, we try not to fuck around. <laughs> Thanks, man. Enjoy, man. Great to meet you. Great yeah, to hang out. Man. Kevin McCain, everybody. <laughs> well, uh, Kevin just basically did my job for me, but I'm gonna recap really quickly. I've eaten a lot of food from a lot of different places in the world. And this might be one of the strangest. You know, everything on its own doesn't seem that crazy. Fries and meat hot sauce. Fries with a cheeseburger on top and no bun. Max out on the side, but then once you kind of put it all together and present it as something that you're just supposed to fuck up with your hands and mouth, um, it becomes something other, you know? It becomes something a little bit different. I feel like I've really uh, come to the most high level place and it doesn't feel high level. It doesn't feel fancy. It just feels homey. And uh, I love it. If you're in Rochester, make sure you come through. I'm probably gonna finish this garbage plate. All right, so let's recap. You know, we came out here to Rochester. Uh, I told some jokes on the side of a highway, great time. <laughs> Went and visited Kevin McCann at McCann's Local Meats. Uh, I know some people are gonna hate because they think uh, a garbage plate has to be, when you're drunk, it has to be in, in a styrofoam box, all that. Totally understand that. It makes me feel good to visit somebody who's supporting the local community, supporting local farms, making incredible food, really heartfelt, conscientious food. That's what I love, and that's what I love to highlight. So shouts out to Kevin McCann. Um, I loved everything I ate there, and I just felt like, yeah, he really puts his heart in the food. Rochester's a great place. Incidentally, I've stumbled upon uh, the oldest soul food restaurant uh, in Rochester, turns out. Hi, my name is Victoria Lang and I'm the owner of the Sweet Potato Pie Place, formerly known as Gladys Place. We're actually Rochester's oldest soul food restaurant. We've been in business now for over 50 years and hopefully we can keep it going for another 50 years. <laughs> What's in the Sweet Potato Pie? Oh uh, man, more love than you will ever know. That's, that's, the best, that's the best way that I can describe it. I promise you it's love at first bite. Just come on by and see if I'm telling the truth about love at first bite. <laughs> One thing that I can say about our food, um, come in and ask, you can ask to taste anything on the menu. No matter who's behind the, the counter, they'll give you a sample. So, it's food, it speaks for itself. <laughs> uh, thanks to Victoria Lang for uh, cutting this pie for me. Let's give it a shot. This is just a little bonus treat at the end of the episode. Thanks for sticking to the end of the episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, baby.
This is crazy. Wow. Sweet, spicy, zesty. And what did she say? Made with love. Love at first bite. Love at first bite. <laughs> so there you have it. Rochester, nice little place. I'd love to explore it more. Some breweries I'm gonna hit up tonight. Thanks to Kevin McCann, McCann's Local Meats. Thanks to Victoria Lang of the Sweet Potato Pie Place, formerly the Sweet Potato Pie Factory, and formerly Gladys' Place. I love Sweet Potato Pie. And uh, what else is there to say? This has been eating with Robert. My name's Rob. <laughs> I mean, I know how to pick them. You know? I know how to pick them. See you next time. <laughs> oh, okay, cut.